So we'll need a sketchbook or paper, or whatever. I'm just, I'm using like a mixed media sketch pad. I like to use those because the paper is thicker. And if I'm drawing with markers, then a pencil, of course, an eraser. I'm just using a white pearl, whatever, I don't know. And a pen for inking. So I'm, I'm gonna be using a, a micron. So then um, to, for coloring, I'm just using these Ahuhu markers. You can use Copics or whatever. These are what I use to cut. And then I've also got this set of little tiny colored pencils. This is what we're gonna be drawing today. This is Bean Sprout and his little girlfriend, Tulip. Okay, so take your pencil and we're gonna start drawing. And so you're just gonna make a little ovalish shape. Not exactly a circle, a little bit squished out. Can everybody see that okay? Okay, so just sort of do that. And I tend to sketch very darkly, but try to sketch sort of lightly so that you can erase if you want to. So then draw another one over here and this is gonna be Tulip's head. And also I do just wanna say real quick, sorry, but um, we're also gonna be talking about customizing these characters and personalizing them so that they can be your own. And now we're gonna do the body, which is sort of like a, a teardrop shape. It's not really a teardrop, but sort of. I, I don't know what shape to really call this. Give it to both of them. Now the legs. So we're gonna draw more of basically the same shape, but a little bit more curved in at the top. See what I'm doing. And so it sort of comes out from the side of the, the torso U shape thing. See, the thing about bean sprouts is they don't have arms. As you can see, their hands are just little balls that aren't attached to their bodies. The hands go to about like halfway down the thigh. So like at the top, halfway down the top of your leg, halfway to your knee. And so for him, I would say, that would probably be about right here. So you can draw that little thing. And as you can see, the arm would be like that, but they don't have arms. And so, and so then his other hand is gonna be out a little bit like that. The tulip, her hand, she's in the same pose. So just draw a little line and then the two little leaves of his bean sprout. And it's tilting over a little bit tilting towards her. And then she has her little tulip. So for the tulip, you just draw a little line and you probably can't see this that well because it's very tiny, but draw, go like a little, a, a little up U shape and then three spikes like that, see? Now to the eyes. So see, he's looking at her. So now you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna add these little artistic cross things that you see in every drawing tutorial. Um, so you can you can see that, you can, it's, can you see that well enough? It looks a little light, but anyway, you can see sort of what I'm doing. So basically just draw a little line. It's kind of a chubby little oval-ish um, thingy. Okay, so we've got his eyes. Now we're gonna do her. So her eyes are, 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 like happily closed because she's the one who handed him the heart, if you remember. And so that's also why he has these little surprised lines right there because he's like, oh, she's giving me a heart, so sweet. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so she's like happy and excited. So there's that. And so now onto their clothes. And again, another way of personalizing this is their clothes, you can change it up a bit. So Tulip, she has a little tutu. So start right here, um, like sort of where her tutu would go up to, I don't know. And then make it go out. You've got to make her skirt go a little bit over her legs or else it's just like unrealistically short because you've got to start that right there. So like, there. sorry, I'm, I'm probably not making any sense. But yeah, you can see what I did there. And then for her shirt, I'm gonna give her a little collar. And so just two little things right there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I'm enjoying this very much. Okay, so now to, I mean, bean sprout, whatever. He has a tie, so I'm gonna give him just a little square right here, but it's sort of rounded at the edges. So it's like a cross between a circle and a square. 
And then I'm just gonna shade it in a little bit to remind me that I'm gonna color it in when I actually color this. And then make two lines out, two lines in. So you've got a little tie shape. Again, remind me to color it. Okay, so now we're almost, almost done with the sketch. Now we're gonna make the heart. And so since I made them so far apart, um, the heart's probably gonna have to be a little bigger than it was in the last one. So just draw a heart here and see, now you can choose this part. If Tulip is standing in front of her heart, which I did it that way here, see her head is overlapping it a little bit, or if she's standing behind it. Now here, I think I'm actually gonna make her standing a little bit behind it. So it will go over her face a little tiny bit. So just make a cute heart. And so now Bean Sprout is gonna be reaching out to it. He just barely touched it. And so, yeah. And now the heart to be even cuter is also gonna have a face. I'm gonna make his eyes a little bit, his, I don't know, her, whatever, its eyes, a little bit longer. And then give it a little heart. I mean, heart, whatever, sorry. I give it a little mouth. Yeah, so anyway. I'm just fixing up the shape a little here. So you've got this heart and she's holding it and he's just barely touching it. And so, yeah, so, okay. So her hand should probably be like gripping it a little bit, but one, I'm not that great at hands. And two, she's a bean sprout. So it really doesn't matter. She's got, she doesn't have fingers. So like, I think if you touch something, your hand just kind of automatically sticks to it if you're a bean sprout, I don't know. Um, yeah, but anyway. So there's that. So now we've got the sketch done. Oh yeah, his little lines of surprise right here. You might see these in like manga or whatever and give her a little heart to him. But yes, so our sketch is done. Inking is actually harder than it looks. A lot of people call it line art, you know, same thing. I mean, there might be a difference, I don't know. But anyway, it's surprisingly harder than it looks because you've got to get the line smooth and not jaggedy and and like, it's really, I think, the least forgiving step of the process. So just erase over the whole thing because we don't want these pencil lines showing. And then, so just erase it. And sometimes I forget to ink a line and then I, I erase it. I'm like, oh no, I forgot that. So then I just ink it. Okay, so now just swipe these pencil shavings off of it or whatever you wanna do. So like I said, I'm taking my hoo-hoo's here and Okay, so we're gonna start out with Tulip because she has the most color. So I'm taking this pen, it's 167, but I don't think that helps you guys at all. <laughs> and you can be using whatever you want, colored pencils, crayons, um, anything. You don't even have to color yours if you don't want to, but. So I'm just using this marker. And the way I color is I go around the edge of everything. And th this ensures that mostly I don't go out of the lines. So just like trace around the whole edge. And then mine are double tipped. So I've got a double tip back here. And so then I fill it in. And it's a lot quicker than like just going up and down and up and down, you know? And also it doesn't go out of lines as much if you go around the outside first. Okay, so I'm gonna use my colored pencil and again, just go around the outside 
Also, markers, if you're using markers, can sometimes smudge ink. Depend, depend, I mean, can smudge like your line art, you know, depending on what pen you used. So just be careful with that. But you can use whatever. And I know some of you guys are doing different flowers and I just cannot wait to see all your variations. Please post them when they're done. That would be so awesome. Okay, so now she's colored. Mine is shading, which we're gonna do a little bit of, but I'm gonna color everything first. Okay, so now for bean sprout, I'm not gonna, oh, thank you, Pepper Potter. <laughs> For Bean Sprout, I'm not going to color his tie black because I think sometimes a dark gray just gives it a little bit of good contrast. Like for um, for black hair, people often don't use exactly black. Like they'll use a really dark gray. So I'm using WG8. I don't know if I like to tell the names of my markers to people. <laughs> um, but anyway, just color it in. That won't take long. And on the camera, it probably looks black. And in real life, it does too, a little bit, but it's you can tell if you look up close that it's slightly lighter. And now, okay, so his bean spot now. I'm just gonna use a green marker. Yeah, do that. Great. So now we're moving on to the heart. And for the heart, I'm using this like pinkish, thing. It looks more not pink than it actually is. Okay, so when I'm inking a face, I mean, inking silly me, coloring. When I'm coloring a face, if it's like on, on one of my human characters or whatever, or it can be a heart with a face, I go around the features, so around the nose, mouth, and eyes, because it usually doesn't smudge, but it might. And the worst thing is just to have like a nice drawing that you're proud of and then you smudge the eye and it's like right in the middle of the whole thing. So that's really kind of annoying, I think. But anyway, you just go around the outside and go around the face. Great. Okay, so now, Again, just I'm using the bigger tip of my marker. I know probably a lot of you guys are using colored pencils or digital or your marker isn't dual tipped, but whatever. I'm using mine. This one's running a little low on ink too. We're almost done, but we still have shading to do. And so, okay, so let's shade it. And I'm gonna teach you a little bit about that. So grab your pencil. I mean, you don't have to do this part, but it's just a reminder. So I'm gonna draw a little sun right up here because this is where the light source is coming from. So I'm gonna erase that sun later on, obviously, but so if the light is coming from up here, the shadows are gonna be down here and you're just gonna make this little line right there and color in below it. Because again, if the light is up here, the shadows are down here. So just sort of do the opposite of where the light is. And I'm actually gonna use the same one to shade the top. And then for the tulip, I'm gonna use number 164. Okay, now the heart is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So just do this side of it, you know. Sorry for any background noise. And then a tiny, tiny bit of shadow right there, right in this part. You can hardly even see it probably. Okay, so again, we're starting on tulip. And just make that same little line. And on our hand, her hand mostly is gonna be covered in that. Now, for her skirt, we're gonna make a little bit of a shadow right here under where the skirt is in some parts of it, just to show, you know, that the shirt, that the skirt is kind of casting a shadow. And then the bottom of her foot, and you can sort of do it on this one too if you want. Great, so, oh, and I'm gonna forgot this other hand too. and her collar, I'm just gonna do a little bit on. Great. 
So now for Bean Sprout, more, more of his face, not most of it, but more of his face is gonna be covered um, by the shadow. So can you, can you see what I'm doing with this? Sorry about it. Can you see what I'm doing with this pencil here? I think, I think it's a little bit maybe hard to see since it's such a light color, but I hope you can see it. It's okay if you're using different colors. Yeah. Oh, you're done, Maya? Okay, great, awesome. Um, yeah, it's okay if you're using different colors. You can change out the colors or whatever. So yeah. And then on his body, again, just a little bit there. His leg, his other leg. So basically just do, like I keep saying, just do the shadows on the opposite side of the light source. So now, um, colored pencils aren't very erasable, but I'm gonna try to erase this here a little bit because I just didn't like the way it was looked. So there's her little heart. And yeah. So we've got our bean sprout and tulip drawing done. 